All right, so mm. where are you calling us from? I am calling from Berlin in Germany in Europe. Yeah. So it's late on your side. Thank you for calling late. Uh, no problem. I still don't see you. <laughs> I totally see both of us, so I know that it's working. Maybe mm -hmm. I do and this? I... No. No, no, you disappeared. Oh, yeah, you're, you're there. Maybe we have to do it without you seeing me. Afterwards, okay. Um, okay. it'll be, you'll see it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's do this. So, so let's talk about um, you maybe before starting this work, and then we'll do during, and then we'll do after. So how for how long have you been an actress? Um... So I've been an actress, at, so I started um, studying acting directly after high school and uh, so I went from high school directly into acting. I was interested in that my whole life. As a little girl I saw um, already, I, I knew every Russian movie uh, because I'm, I'm born in Latvia and I'm, I, I grew up in Soviet Union and there were beautiful Russian movies on on the in the TV and I always wanted to be part of that and I knew every role and I just wanted to do this and after high school I went studying and then I was working in Latvian National Theatre mm -hmm. for three years and doing some inter um, and I was always interested in other categories but my big dream was to like to to be in movies mm -hmm. to and uh, in this in this tv screen and but anyway i liked uh, i love to to experiment i like to be in independent projects to challenge myself to grow to do video art to do i was puppetry a puppeteer as well mm -hmm. Um, I did um, a solo performance for little children without, uh, just with objects, without speaking. So, and um, and then um, because of private life, I went to Germany uh, because of love, let's say so. And I always wanted to see the world. And um, then I was between Germany and Latvia. And then I was discovered, um, like in a miracle, in a miracle way, over Facebook, a casting agent from Germany found me for a big uh, German uh, film production. Mm -hmm. So I was discovered in Germany, and I was my first film project was a huge project mm -hmm. in um, in so in Germany. So I was discovered, let's mm -hmm. say, and then. Uh, uh, so that's me before, and then um, I I got some scholarships mm -hmm. uh, to try myself out in Germany because I started to learn German. I moved to Germany basically to try. I gave myself one year, so um, and studying German, and then I got in because of this director believed so much in me. I got in a star agency, mm -hmm. and then the pressure was pretty. <laughs> huge mm. and um, and then I got uh, amazing castings and I was always like in the top three I was I got castings for Brian De Palma for example or some mm. Hollywood things or some big things and I was like in top two or three but I didn't get it and mm. After two or three years, it kind of, I, I, I still made two movies per year, but for the mm -hmm. star agency, I was like never, I, I, was, I was always having fear. I'm earning too little, I'm, I'm a fake, and everybody who works with me, they will find out this. If, if that's why nobody wants to work with me mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. what, what never was really true because two directors wanted to me work with me again but uh that was like my story what yeah. i was telling myself mm -hmm. and every time when i 
I, I didn't get the casting. Like I saw myself already in this role. I saw myself, oh man, I, I, can, I can live from this. Mm -hmm. I'm so close to this. Mm -hmm. I failed and then I was just, I was just killing myself. Mm -hmm. I was just, mm -hmm. just, it was just hard. Yes, yes. And then, and then somehow it all, of course, if you start from the top, it yeah. can just go like down. And then my agent left because of her personal reasons. And, and because in Latvia is so small and we don't have agencies. Mm -hmm. I think in Latvia, there's now first agent for actors mm -hmm. after 10 years or so. Mm -hmm. I kind of was lost. I didn't mm -hmm. know what to do. And, mm -hmm. I, and of course, that, that, that fitted my story that I'm not good enough. So I didn't, the agency didn't took me over and I translated it in my language I'm not good enough yeah. or um, and then I kind of tried to apply for other agencies but uh, it didn't work out so and then I just I just broke mm -hmm. so I was just everywhere I was just saying um, seeing uh, shame and mm -hmm. um, it's not working and mm -hmm. I haven't had a job for a year mm -hmm. and um, the people and productions who liked me they didn't contact me or they, they didn't respond to me anymore mm -hmm. so I saw it as a really as a, um, my self-esteem was so it was my whole life my hobby my my passion my my mm -hmm my dream, everything. So I lost it and I lost myself completely. And then... That's so and, interesting because I want to interrupt you for a second. Yeah. Usually people are not starting at the top. You started at the top and then it went down. But usually people start, um, you know, at the beginning and think that it's all difficult and complicated and it doesn't work and they feel horrible when they act because they haven't had the right offers yet. And I keep telling them, no, that's not why. It's because inside it's not flowing that you feel terrible and the job offers won't do anything for you. It'll be even worse because mm. you'll have big opportunities and it'll smash you. Um, so this is, this is kind of your story. You started at the top and your, your instrument, I guess, wasn't ready for it and therefore progressively it went down yeah yeah and I so was that yeah i wasn't now if we if i see i wasn't authentic i wasn't i was always afraid i was yeah. i was i was always try to oh so the agency wants me to be blonde so i have to be blonde oh yeah, yeah. so that they need me to be like this mm -hmm. oh and on this film party everybody is like this so mm -hmm. i have to be like this be but like i was this. breaking yeah. myself at the Trying same time fit. yeah you were yes. abandoning and and completely yeah rejecting yourself so is that when you went all the way down and touched the bottom is that when you decided to reset no that was nine years ago i left acting <laughs> Left. I left acting for good. I said, okay, no, I said, I, it's on ice because I, I still, the casting agents kind of, they, they contact me and I get, I got some, um, some, some offers and some projects mm -hmm. as well after, without an agency. Mm -hmm. But I kind of let it, I let it go and I became a flight attendant. <laughs> and, um, yeah, and it was a, and, and it was a great, uh, way to um yeah i thought so now acting so i have mm -hmm. to make a, a, a adult decision so now yeah. i will be flying i will have my family and everything mm -hmm. but just mm -hmm. i noticed that after three or three, or three years it kind of it didn't let me go it was like always in my back my mm -hmm. so back of the head i'm kind of, i've missed this and the passengers are saying like oh you're so great you should be an actress and i was like <laughs> <laughs> yeah really uh, should i <laughs> they were reminding you yeah yeah it's everywhere like co colleagues mm -hmm. and 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 passengers and mm -hmm. like what are you doing here you should mm -hmm. be like on, on in theater or or mm -hmm. on screen i was like mm -hmm. good mm -hmm. good 
and mm -hmm. and at the same time sometimes came like some casting as well and or some uh, like you know uh, do you have time for this and this but never so it was always there some kind of and i never understood why i cannot let this go and i'm t i was telling myself i'm too old i'm too it's too late mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm, everything everything but it it didn't let me go and then um, two years ago in Corona, I, I was sitting as a flight attendant for a long time home, of course, as we all. So I got a time to think about this and I thought, OK, so why did I tell myself I cannot do this? Or why did I think, hey, what? what? So I was like, yeah, think, thinking about this. And then I thought, OK, I will try this again. And then I found out another agency mm -hmm. and then in this last year kind of it everything not everything but it repeated it in very very fast circle because of the war I needed to have another job so I was, I was working like in three jobs mm -hmm. this year and I was flying around and then I was trying to be in, in the, the actress and do the castings and I had a great opportunity again to be in a huge German series like in one of the main roles and there was so much hope in this and I saw myself filming this and it didn't happen so somehow everything happened again, again. <laughs> but like yeah. in a shorter point and so the reset it was day after my agent said that you didn't let's get. let's yeah. leave it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. let's let's uh, um, yeah not work anymore together and I was at the same point like nine years ago mm -hmm. should I just turn my back or should I do something about this and then I saw your um, your Instagram the reason and it, the reason you decided yeah. to do it okay and so how did you know right away this is what I need or did you have doubts you no right away okay. right away and then how was it to reset was that challenging or was that how was it well challenging is uh how do you say very <laughs> sweet way to say it. <laughs> it was hell it was hell yeah. <laughs> no it was it's a roller coaster so i finished my my journey today <laughs> so i'm still in the roller coaster Congratulations. it's uh oh my goodness it mm -hmm. was you maybe i don't know you're working with lots of people but you can imagine if some, but something like uh, was was inside for ten years. How much there is baggage. So it there are nice exercises <laughs> that get that stuff out, yeah. and it doesn't feel pleasant. No. <laughs> when it gets it out, it can be uncomfortable. It's yeah. very very uncomfortable, and mm -hmm. uh, the first two weeks was really. So I never knew for the 30, for 33 days how the next day will be. There were mm -hmm. few when I felt like really, wow, mm -hmm. I didn't know this about myself. Wow, I rediscovered my voice. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I rediscovered, I don't know, my sexuality mm -hmm. or, or something. Mm -hmm. but, but other days were like, oh, I'm just yeah. over the place. Dark. Yeah. Yeah. Dark. Yeah. yeah, or just letting it out and crying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then what would you say now that you've finished and congratulations for finishing and it's so mm -hmm. fresh. Thank you. Like what, I mean, it's very fresh. So I'm not sure if you'll have a clear feeling already because you maybe you haven't tested yourself yet into auditions since you've reset. But so what do you feel you got from it? Well, first of all, I've got I got my voice back. I and what does that mean? I got myself back. I um, let's say you speak a lot about people pleasing, mm -hmm. and that is what happened to me in in castings with agents. Yeah. That mm -hmm. is the authority. Yeah. So, I because of this reset, and I'm starting started to challenge myself and mm -hmm. to to so to, to be not people please yes i still mm -hmm. notice when i do this uh but i then i i'm i do the stop check operate I, and then mm -hmm. i 
um, so I let my authentic me out because that, that is what I haven't tried in this business. And that is my goal mm -hmm. to, to go into this mm -hmm. and non uh, apologetically, mm -hmm. not he he ha ha your this is what I'm expected mm -hmm. to do, mm -hmm. but as I am because I have tried this, I have tried this, but I haven't mm -hmm. tried True. that. True. And <laughs> yes, exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. And that was what I was trying to hide in this business. It w was my truthfulness, let's say, mm -hmm. because I thought. It doesn't fit in mm -hmm. the business. It's the also. only thing. It's the only thing that works in this business. Mm -hmm. It's tr mm -hmm. truth. Because mm -hmm. if it's not truthful, it's a lie. Right? And a lie is, yet you smell it on screen. A lie on screen does not touch an audience. It mm -hmm. can look okay. It can even look good but it doesn't do the job. It doesn't defend a character. It doesn't tell a story. It doesn't touch an audience. And it's not fulfilling for the actor, right? When mm. you're lying and faking, when you're acting, mm. it's a horrible, mm. it's a horrible sensation. Another yeah. thing was accountability. Yeah. That was the biggest challenge for me, but, but uh, that I really gained the respect for myself that mm -hmm. I was so mm -hmm. accountable and yes. so strong. And so mm -hmm. I did, I did everything. And that is what I didn't do nine years ago. Mm -hmm. I just like maybe ask 10 agencies. Yes. And then I said, Oh, no, they don't like me. No, mm -hmm. it's over. It's but mm -hmm. I didn't do like everything. You didn't or stay in I your didn't, power for what you know. Again. No, at all. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, and now I have my little goals. Not, not, I have my goal, but I know the next steps. And mm -hmm. I have to keep myself accountable. And yeah. that is what makes me more powerful. Yeah, definitely. it's practice. Mm -hmm. It's, it's mm -hmm. um, that's great. What a brave. What a brave journey you've had to like start up there. This very uncommon fall, try again, fall, and you're and you're coming back. That is accountable. That is committed. It means it really matters to you. And if you can share that authentically, inevitably mm -hmm. people will will see you and feel you um, and want to exchange with you. That's a wonderful journey. Thanks for sharing so authentically. <laughs> if you thank you so much. Yeah, and as yeah, well, great. and as well, this is the 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 as well how I went to the journey. I I didn't know what to expect. I was as well. I was ready to say maybe in the end of the journey, I say that's that's it with acting. Mm -hmm. I didn't know, yeah. but I just didn't yeah. want that that this loop continues. I wanted yeah. to be break free yeah. from this. Yeah. But what happened to me was the opposite. Mm -hmm. So I'm going all in, mm -hmm. and um, and I'm scared at the same time but that's okay so yeah. let's yeah. see what happens yeah mm. it's great it's great to witness you this way yeah thank you let's see what happens yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you you'll keep me posted of course posted. <laughs> all right so um for anyone who's watching and who's resonating with this story um you can send us um a DM, you can send us a comment and let us know if you want to have more information, you can write reset and we'll send you a link um, or a waitlist link, but let us know. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. I'll see you. Yeah. Thank you. Have Bye. a great day. You too. Bye. Bye-bye.